Hey folks, it's Jim. I uh, just wanted to do something. I was doing some building a model and I thought, how could America? I'm seeing this trade war go on and I'm sure it's frustrating a lot of you as well. Um, there's really no need for it. And here's my solution, trade deficit solution. Uh, we can grow America quite well in certain areas. And this is just one presentation tonight that I'm doing. Uh, those of you that have good channels, if you want to take the information, go use it. Please do. Please make uh, better videos that maybe more people will see. But anyway, um, right now the U.S. textile industry is 565,000 jobs and $25 billion in exports. That's pretty big, isn't it? But we could uh, quadruple this easy. All right. And I'm going to show you how and why this would be easy to do. If instead of doing tariffs on a broad spectrum of things, Trump would just do tariffs on things that we would grow from within on, what we could do is, no one, first off, it wouldn't even make the news. It wouldn't be called a trade war. Nobody even would know what's going on. It wouldn't cause all of the, our expenditures to go up while we go through an adjustment. But let's, let's make this simple, okay? Let's take t-shirts. If Trump would just come out and put a tariff on cotton t-shirts to China quietly, right? And say, okay, it's going to cost you, uh, it's a $5 tariff to get a t-shirt into the United States made in China, India, or anywhere else. And promote um, uh, the purchasing of American made from seed to uh, t-shirt, cotton t-shirts, uh, then we would see an explosion in the industry. Right, and then they could expand. We could take the tariff money, give zero interest loans to the whole food chain, right? Because what does it require to grow cotton and then process cotton, right? There's a whole food chain of processes that take place that employ a whole lot of people, folks. And these are good paying jobs with good benefits. Go talk to the workers that are in these industries. They get paid well and they got great benefits and they actually like their jobs, okay? And uh, so labor isn't the problem in the United States competing with textiles. What is the problem is the fact that places like India and China poison their land and water, okay, whereas in the American textile industry, we can't do that anymore. They have to be extremely efficient and effective, and they have to show sustainability, right? So America has become the envy of the world in its textile industry with regards to quality, efficiency, and sustainability. So we already have the infrastructure. We're already the best in the world, have always been the best in the world, and are still the best in the world at cotton. Okay, while others are competitive, they're just not as efficient and sustainable as the United States processes. Some of the United States uh, efficiency is up to 98%, or all of it across the board. This is the low number, 98% of the cotton that's brought into the plant is utilized and only 2% waste. That's a low number. Some of them actually have taken it to 100%, whereas even the leftover stuff has been utilized, compressed into bricks that beekeepers use to calm their bees. Okay, so they've even found a way to utilize the waste of the process. You know, and um, sorry, my cat's on the wrong side of the door again if you hear them. So they found even a way to use the waste, all right? And Japan regards Texas cotton as the best in the world, while many regard Egypt's cotton as the best of the world because of the plant, their environment allows them to have a special plant that's adapted there, and it's called Egyptian cotton, right? But Japan, for low tension milling, require, uh, calls Texas cotton the best in the world, okay? So the U.S. even has one of the best breeds of cotton, in the world that nobody else can grow, okay? So isn't that interesting, all right? And uh, so, but anyway, if we would just start with t-shirts, and here's the other thing. Because these t-shirts last three to five times longer, okay, and same with the socks and the underwear, there would be less manufacturing and less overall usage the more people that would go to this instead of buying the cheap stuff, right? Because every cheap t-shirt that has to be dyed is poisoning the environment. So with regards to sustainability, the U.S. cotton industry is far, by far superior, not just because of the efficiency and the sustainability factors that have been built into it, 
that nobody can compete with right now, but because you're buying less of them over your lifetime because they just last longer. Quality saves money, and Americans have forgotten that. We've got addicted to cheap junk, okay, that falls apart in no time. When you buy an American-made t-shirt from an American manufacturer, you purchase one, you're going to pay more for it, but tell me if you don't like the quality. It just feels so much better, and it will last and last and last. <coughs> Excuse me. Same thing with the socks, right? And absolutely the same things with the underwear. Um, all of these things just last, okay? And thereby, that leads me to the green part of American textile industry. By building better products, there will be less... Uh, need right in the long run and that leads to green doesn't it so now we can start marketing from a green perspective not only are our factories just more green but the whole product itself in the end is more green because you're spending less dye when you're only buying one t-shirt as opposed to three you see what I mean all this could be marketed worldwide quite easily but something would easily happen if, and again, just start with tariffs on t-shirts, cotton t-shirts, then socks, and then underwear. Just expand that part of the industry. And once that happens, you know, it, it would just be remarkable what would take place. And the price of these products would begin to drop, wouldn't they? As production goes up, the cost goes down, doesn't it? So, and especially if we're feeding them zero interest loans to expand that infrastructure, right? So now the cost factors would be going down and we'd be getting much higher quality products run on a greener sustainable system that in the end saves the environment. And now Japan, Europe, Australia, and the United Kingdom would be buying our products for sure. And any other nation. They may cost a little more, but in the long run you're going to save money because you're buying much less. You see what I mean? And that's good for the environment. So... If we would just do this, we would go from 565,000 jobs to 2 million jobs. We would go from $25 billion in exports to $100 billion in exports. And $75 billion increase in exports would lower the trade deficit. Uh, $75 billion is huge on the trade deficit. For instance, the trade deficit with China, I think, is $300 billion. $75 billion is 25% of the trade deficit with China. If we would just build the industry we're already great at and get far superior products and remind Americans that quality saves money. While it may seem that you're paying more initially, in the end you're actually saving money because the American product just is that much superior. Okay, And we need to remind Americans what quality is and we need to bring back the term American made. Right, made in America was one time great and it still is in these industries. But we aren't supporting them anymore because we're addicted to cheap crap. And everybody's forgot the basics of mathematics. If it falls apart in a year and something lasts three years, you're going to save money buying the more expensive thing, aren't you? Just like an automobile. You can buy a cheap car that's on its last legs, but you'd be better off paying a little more money for a good vehicle, wouldn't you? It's the same thing with t-shirts, socks, and underwear in the long term. You actually save money buying the quality. And not only that, but the quality is going to make us feel better as people as also. I mean, there's just so much to it. And at the same time, you're helping to save the environment. And that's an easy marketing campaign that could be easily uh, paid for, not by our tax dollars, but by the subsidies on the t-shirts. So the subsidies would just stop the you know and the t-shirt imports and the socks imports and the underwear imports and explode our own industry that we're just simply the best at from within and if Americans would just buy t-shirt socks and underwear from American producers this thing could all happen very quickly okay so I'm also gonna pose this to everyone tonight go out and buy one t-shirt one pair of socks and one underwear from a manufacturer, from cotton that's grown in the U.S., manufactured in the U.S., and sold in the U.S. If you will do that and compare the quality to the crap that we buy at Walmart, I think everyone would begin to buy American products again. And if we would all start to do that, the price of the products would drop, wouldn't they? With volume, price goes down. 
And that's where we need to get back to is volume. And Americans, if we would just support the industries, we would do well. And I think this is a much better plan to grow from within on things that we're good at. Stop trying to do things we're not good at and let's do what we're already the best at. Okay, and Americans are very good, hardworking people, and we simply still produce the best textiles in the world. And that's just the way it is. And they're better for the environment also. And the people of Japan, Europe, Australia, and the United Kingdom already know that. Okay, uh, you can buy cheap crap, but it's not good for the earth, and it's not good for anybody. Okay, most of all the consumer, because in the end you pay more, because you got to buy three or four of those compared to one of the good stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to share this. Um, again, you know, if you have a good channel, get out there and uh, see if we can't um, help to raise awareness for a process like this. See if maybe someday this information might get to the political circle that surrounds uh, the people in our government. And let's do what we're good at. And let's stop trying to fight oh, an economic war that hurts everybody, right? And let's just simply do what we're good at. Grow America from when? Just like China did, China puts tariffs on things and it grows from within. We can do the same thing on the things that we're good at, give our people a much better product that in the long run saves them money, makes them feel better, and is better for the environment. And that's quite simple to do. And it could all be done through tariffs, not a penny of tax dollars. You can buy the cheap crap if you want, but you're going to pay for the expansion of the infrastructure in the United States. And I think that's the way to grow America right now. And it's where our money goes that makes all the difference in the world. So again, I challenge everybody, go out and buy one t-shirt, one pair of socks, and one pair of underwear, and see what the quality is for yourself. American made is pretty darn good, folks. And once you find that out, you might just keep going back. And if together, we all just build that industry, we can go from 565,000 jobs to 2 million good paying jobs with good benefits. And that's what we want, a $100 billion in exports in an industry that we have always just simply been the best at, bar none. They may be able to do it cheaper, but nobody does it better, period. And nobody does it better for the environment than right here in the good old USA. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, get out there and support your, uh, your American-made stuff, you know, T-shirts, socks, and underwear. Folks, let's start there. Uh, let's see if we can't get uh, some heads up at the top. Thinking straight instead of creating trade wars that costs everybody money and everybody loses. Let's get into building America from within. Let's start small, run silent, be slow, right? And we can build this thing and it would be magnificent. And American made is great again. You know what I mean? We can do it. It's not labor that's the problem. It's most of all re educating the people to what's better for the environment and better for them in the long run. Jim out.